In this video we are going to explain about the importance, procedure and all facts about cervical screening test. Cervical screening test helps to prevent cervical cancer. The test shows if there are abnormal changes in cells on the surface of the cervix. The cervix is a cylinder-shaped tissue that connects the vagina and uterus which is located at the lowermost portion of the uterus. The cervix is composed primarily of fibromuscular tissue. There are two main portions of the cervix. The endocervix is the inner opening of the cervix that leads into the uterus and it is covered with glandular cells. The ectocervix is the outer part of the cervix that can be seen by the doctor during a speculum exam. It is covered in squamous cells. The place where these two cell types meet in the cervix is called the transformation zone. The exact location of the transformation zone changes as you get older and if you give birth. Most cervical cancers begin in the cells in the transformation zone. Cells in the transformation zone do not suddenly change into cancer. But if untreated, abnormal cells can develop into cervical cancer over time. The goal of cervical cancer screening is to find pre-cancer or cancer early when it is more treatable and curable. Almost all cervical cancer is caused by human papillomavirus or HPV, which is spread by sexual activity. 80% of people who have been sexually active will have an HPV infection at some point in their lives. There are many types of HPVs and only a few types of HPV will lead to abnormal, precancerous cells. If you have ever been sexually active, you should have regular cervical screening from age 25 until you turn 70. Cervical screening is recommended every three years. In some circumstances, you may be advised to have a test more often if abnormal results present in past tests. The tests for cervical cancer screening are the HPV test and the PAP test. For sample collection you will be asked to lie on your side or your back with your knees bent up. The lower part of your body will be covered with a sheet. The nurse or doctor gently opens the vagina with a speculum and carefully takes a sample of cells from the surface of the cervix with a small soft brush. This process will take only a few minutes. The sample is then sent to a laboratory to be examined. It is best not to have the test during your period. Abnormal cell screening is done during the PAP test and type of papillomavirus is screened during HPV test. The HPV vaccine protects against some high-risk types of HPV. HPV infection has no treatment, but a vaccine can help prevent it. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.